Hi everyone, merhaba, this is Ayşenur Altan. In this episode, we are making classic Turkish style potato salad. It's very easy to make. We're gonna use fresh herbs with simple salad dressing. It doesn't have any mayonnaise, very healthy. In Turkey, it's very popular, usually on ladies' tea parties or as a picnic menu. To go with it, I also made crunchy börek roll. You're gonna be able to watch it in the next episode. So let's get started. I have six medium-sized baked potatoes, handful of parsley, dill, and three scallions. And I'm gonna flavor my salad with dried mint, red pepper flakes, some sumac, salt, and olive oil. First, let's peel the potatoes. It is important to boil the potatoes with the skin because otherwise it soaks too much water and doesn't keep its shape when you slice them or cut them. Potato salad is really one of the simplest and delicious salads we think of. Whether it is made for ladies afternoon tea parties or for picnics. Nowadays we have also many different versions but this is really a classic one. I know that in other cuisines there are many different types of potato salad recipes. Please do share how you make them. And traditionally we just cut them in big chunks. Now the fresh greens. I'm gonna finely chop parsley, fresh dill and some scallions. You can use a red onion or Sometimes we also use the yellow ones. It's up to you. Actually, dill is also optional here. Uh, some people doesn't uh, prefer. But since I had it and it's very healthy, I wanted to use it. Dressing is very simple, just lemon juice and olive oil. And when I compare to the uh, other potato recipes using mayonnaise as dressing, I think this is really more healthier and lighter version. And if you have never tried this way, make sure you give it a try and share your thoughts with me. The first seasoning I'm gonna use is sumac. It gives a nice sour, deeper taste. We use it a lot, mostly in the eastern part of Turkey. And red pepper flakes, this is hot. We have a sweeter version also. And some dried mint. And of course, good quality extra virgin olive oil. And we have really good types of olive oils uh, coming from Asian part of Turkey. After adding the lemon juice, just mix everything well and taste. If it needs more seasoning, I just wanted to add some hot red pepper flakes and it's ready. I also made börek to go with my salad. It's pachanga böreği, 
called in Turkish a very a traditional you can mostly find in restaurants as a warm appetizer it has pastrami, kaşar cheese and some peppers in it you deep fry it very delicious I'm gonna share the recipe with you in the next episode I know it is best served with Turkish tea but since it was afternoon our coffee time I served it with filtered coffee and I think it goes well too it's not the traditional way of serving it but it's up to you of course so give it a try let me know how it turned out and please share how is your favorite potato salad how you make it let me remind you of different salad recipes I have on my channel this is another version of potato salad with red cabbage one of my favorite summer salad with grilled eggplants and red peppers another very classic Turkish tea time salad recipe lentil köfte balls it's very easy to make comes out so delicious and it's vegan too and finally one of my favorite episodes Turkish tea menu that I prepared for my family with six recipes including my timely preparation plan that day I didn't have much time to prepare so I had to rush and in the menu I had two different kind of pochas falafel apple filled cookies and pasta salad it was one of the blessed moments with my family I really feel its value much more right now and looking forward and praying that one day it's gonna happen again So I hope you like my recipe and other salad ideas you can check from my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Make sure you include your comments and photos with me if you try from my Instagram account Turkish Food and Travel. I hope to see you in another delicious Turkish food recipes and travel vlogs. Afiyet olsun.